this is a shout out here to my 4,500 plus 100 Facebook friends and over 1,700 YouTube subscribers on YouTube. Is it too much to ask for you to put just a little effort into emailing Dr. Oz? To get me on his show. So I can be. Feel normal again. Because right now the way I feel. I had rather be six feet underground dead. Do you hear me? I had rather be dead. Six feet underground in the Westview Cemetery. Than have to live day after day after day after motherfucking day like this. Do you hear me? I need transcranial magnetic resonating to reverse the stroke damage. I always feel like I want to pass out. The equilibrium. My doctor finally put a name from it. My new doctor, Dr. Crisps. All the other doctors, they just brushed me off. They didn't give a fucking shit because they're not getting paid enough money because I'm on Medicaid Medicare. They don't give a if they don't, if they're not getting paid, they're not going to waste time. So it's all the money game. These doctors, with their, even, even the, even the ones with the best of intentions, even my new, new family physician, who's a genius. What can they do when they're, they only have access to yesterday's technology? They can only put me on more medications to treat symptoms, which in turn cause more symptoms. And then they had to put me on more medications to treat those symptoms. And thus you have the vicious cycle set up until eventually I'm on so many medications. They cure me? Sure. By killing me. I need to get on Dr. Oz. I got so many things wrong with me, I cannot remember them all at once. I had to write them down. So here's what I'm going to do to get on Dr. Oz. You see this bed I'm lying on? This might be my deathbed, unless everything works out right. What I'm gonna do is lay out, lay, lay out all my medications on my bed beside me. You know, so when the ambulance comes, they'll know what to give me, what not to give me. So I, to prevent bad medical interactions, and so when they take me into the hospital, to know I need to keep taken because it's dangerous to stop prescription medications cold turkey okay here's what I'm gonna do buy myself a nice ass bottle of fucking sleeping pills nice strong bottle open my door front door unlock the screen door flip on my webcam tell, uh, tell my story I'm trying to get on Dr. Oz. Well, at least get pulse electromagnetic field therapy and transcranial magnetic resonating to reverse the stroke damage so I can stop feeling like I want to pass out and maybe get my voice back and rap again to fulfill my dreams of being a good looking guy after getting cosmetic surgery. Oh, forget it. That all oh, those dreams are on the back burner. I'd be happy just to be able to rap again right now. I'd be happy just to be able to, to do something besides just be able to exercise again. I can now. I cannot exercise anymore because this equilibrium. I will dial nine one one and tell them, hey. I've just overloaded those Tom sleeping pills. I'm at 22. Of, I'm 
give him my address, I tell him I left the door open, come in, save me before I die because I don't want to die, but I want to get on Dr. Oz and this is the only way I can get on Dr. Oz. Because it's all a money racket. It's not about helping people. It's not selling commercial airtime. And people's interest is peaking in me because I try, I literally, genuinely tried to kill myself live on YouTube. <laughs> I, I guarantee you that, that my story would then would sell commercial time. Start popping sleeping pills live on webcam. And you'll watch. As I fall into sleep, what could become the sleep of death? Unless the ER gets here in time before I stop breathing and are able to do whatever it takes and resuscitate me, stick a tube down my throat and pump my stomach, keep me from dying, take me to the hospital. I have my medications laid out so they'll know what to give me and know what not to give me. And this is what I'm going to do. If you so-called Facebook friends and YouTube subscribers can't be humanitarian, love and love, the freaking email Dr. Oz to get me and hook me up with the, the latest medical breakthroughs to cure the cause instead of treat symptoms, which will lead to more symptoms that will need to be treated until... I get the cure all right, but only because I'm on some medications that 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 they will that my body will be killed, and thus when my body is killed, that will cure my pains because I won't be alive. I have to feel them. So it it be why not just risk dying now, getting it over with, especially when if I pull it off. I could not only maybe get on Dr. Oz, maybe I could have my first viral video. But the most important thing here is feeling normal again so I can pursue my dreams, get cosmetic surgery, be, be a good looking guy, and be a rapper. Right now that's on the back burner. Right now I'm feeling like I'm going to pass out now from the excitement of make, making this video. It's not knowing, not knowing what the fuck is wrong that's making me willing to risk being planted, planted six feet underground in the Westview motherfucking cemetery. Is this going to happen eventually anyways? Well, I'm going to die someday. Why not now? If I have to live the rest of my fucking life like this.